Hello everybody, this is PDF Birds Art Arcade at birdsartarcade.com and here we are again with another unboxing and again we're going to be doing another TV. It's been a while since I've opened one of these but uh, this one here is actually for downstairs. Uh, it's here for the office and it'll be going up to the wall here probably around where the hall is. Uh, now we went with the Vizio 47 inch 3D TV and I'll tell you right off the bat, Vizio was not my first choice. Uh, to be honest it wasn't even on my radar uh, until we were actually in the store and I took a look at the actual quality of the picture and it really did surprise me. Uh, it's, I consider it more of an entry level uh, 3D TV. Uh, it's a little bit larger I guess than an entry level but as far as the quality goes uh, it's an entry level TV but uh, it was very very good quality in the store so hopefully I can uh, get the exact same results here and this is just the unboxing so I just wanted to quickly go over what's included and some of the specifications that they actually have uh, written on the box. Now most of them are on the other side here, so I'm just going to head over here. And uh, well, let's start off. This is actually the, um, so it's the Vizio E uh, 3D 470VX is the model number. And uh, it's part of the E series. No idea what, how that fits into their spectrum of devices. Um, like I said, Vizio wasn't even on my radar until I actually seen it in the store. Uh, but let's go over some of the, the features. Now it has theater 3D, which is the exact same 3D that you get uh, in movie theaters. So those real 3D glasses you get in movie theaters, you can actually bring them home and use them with this TV. Uh, it's also known as the passive shutter. Now the one downfall to this technology is that if you're watching a, a 3D movie in 1080p, it actually splits it, so you're actually only getting 540 in each eye. Uh, for me, I've never really noticed the difference. It's still enough resolution that it still looks really good to me and you don't have to worry about uh, heavier glasses or having to recharge them or put new batteries or anything in it so as far as quality wise do I really notice it? Well, maybe if I was sitting there with a, an active shutter and a passive shutter system and comparing I might notice but as far as watching a movie on one then going to watch it on the other you know if you do notice it, it's probably not that much of a big of a difference but this is an entry level, it's a little bit cheaper, well I guess not cheaper, a little less expensive. So anyway, just be warned, if you do want the, the greatest 3D experience, uh, you might want to look at an active shutter. But anyway, this does come with two pairs of glasses. Now it comes with one premium and one basic. Not really sure what they're talking about there, so we'll have to take a look when we open the box. Uh, it comes with the Vizio internet app, so it's a smart TV. Uh, this is one of the one one of the things that I actually wanted. Cause I actually wanted to be able to watch Netflix on the TV without having to worry about turning any of the computers on or anything like that. Uh, this is an LCD, so it is going to be a little bit thicker than uh, some of the the better TVs, uh, the LED ones. Uh, it shouldn't be as thick as a plasma, although plasmas have come down quite a bit in thickness. Uh, this also has Wi-Fi. It's the 802.11n. And they haven't actually have, have it as the 802.11n HD. No idea what the HD is. I've never heard of that. But anyway, it is the 802.11n network. And it does have an Ethernet port. So if, for whatever reason, that doesn't prove to be fast enough. You can uh, plug a cable into it if it's close enough to an outlet for you. Now, at the front here, it does show a few of the apps that come with it. Uh, you have Netflix, Vudu, uh, Hulu Plus, uh, Pandora. And on the side here, it actually has a few more. Blockbuster is also listed. Rhapsody. Was Voodoo on the front? Yes, it was. Uh, Facebook. Uh, Fandango. Twitter. Well, let me see. Actually, they have quite a few listed here, but they're constantly updating them. So it's going to have all the popular ones like Amazon and everything else that you'd expect to see on um, all the other TVs. And let me see. What else is interesting that's written on here? Not seeing anything else on this side. Let me just check the other side. Uh, it shows a picture of the glasses, which we're going to open and see soon anyway. Uh, okay, the type of 3D it supports is the side-by-side, -side, uh, which is also known as SBS. And the top to bottom, which is also known as TV. And then it has another one called Sensio 3D, which I'm not really sure. I've never heard of before. Uh, it does actually have the real D 3D logo on the side here. So, uh, you'll be able to use those glasses. And on the back of the box, uh, it just has a picture of a big picture of some guy smiling. 
So right off the bat, one thing I wanted to comment on this is the actual box itself. Now the, the unit itself doesn't weigh that much. Even with all the packaging, it's about 50 pounds. Uh, but these little hand holes that they have here at the side, uh, they're your typical cardboard fold-in hand holes. Uh, but the fold itself is very small. So if you put any more than two fingers in there, you're actually off the fold and the cardboard itself is on your fingers. And while 50 pounds may not be that much uh, weight, it does tend to dig in quite a bit into your fingers while you're carrying them. So you pick it up and you're like, oh, it's not that heavy. You get about five feet and you're kind of like, yeah, oh. But anyway, that was my first gripe with it. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the floor and uh, start opening it up. And uh, let's take a look see what's inside. So let's cut up my fingers. All right, so here we are looking at the top of it. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, cut through the tape. All right, so the first package I opened up inside actually comes with a screwdriver. And this is probably the first piece of electronics I've ever opened up that's come with its own screwdriver. Uh, but anyway, it also has a power cord. We'll just set that down. Uh, the other end, the remote. Let's go ahead, we'll open that up. So we have a full keyboard. Well, maybe not quite full, depends on your definition of full. All the letters are there. It looks like all the important keys. Uh, directional key, kind of like uh, the XY, it's like a game pad. Uh, you flip it over, you have your standard looking remote here. Uh, the buttons feel a little gummy, rubbery. Uh, that should be fine though. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll put the batteries in, we'll find out. Uh, at the top here, it does actually have three specific buttons, one for Amazon. So even though it wasn't shown on the box, it apparently does have it. Uh, Netflix and Voodoo. And it uh, looks like these are probably your favorite keys. Uh, changing channels, menu, pretty much all your basic uh, remote functions. And again, the cool part is the keyboard. So we'll go ahead, we'll put that down. It is fairly lightweight. Um, I wouldn't say it feels cheap. Uh, it does feel light though, but we'll go ahead. We'll try that out. Now there is nothing left in the top of the box. Oh, there is. Uh, we have our theater 3D glasses next. So we're gonna go ahead, we'll open these up. I'll have to get the old trusty knife out. We'll just cut that. Uh, open these up. And it comes with two pairs of glasses and a little cleaning cloth. So let's go ahead and we'll take a look at these glasses. Alright, so we'll take them out of the package. And they are sealed. Now to be honest, they feel very lightweight and cheap just as much as the well the ones you get in the theater uh, they do have a glossy finish uh, these have the Vizio insignia on them as well as the name on the inside so that's one pair I believe that's the premium pair now for the non premium pair uh, here we go it's uh, kind of doesn't seem as glossy. Let's go ahead and we'll put them side by side. If you notice the actual frame is different. Uh, these are a little more I guess stylish, a little sleeker. We can actually put them in frame again. Uh, they don't have the logo or the writing on the inside. This does have something on the inside. Uh, small, let's see, not for use as sunglasses. Made in China. Okay. Uh, go ahead and look at the front. The premium ones, these shinier ones, do seem to have a bit bigger of a eye hole. I guess, can we line them up uh, on top of each other? Yeah, it looks like they're a little bit bigger of an eye hole, not much. Uh, but for the most part, they look pretty much the same. Looking through them, uh, to be honest, these shiny ones seem to have a lot more glare. I will have to test that out when we actually get to some 3D content. We'll go ahead and we'll put those down. 
And now we're actually done with all the stuff that came with it. So next we're going to take a look at the actual TV. So we'll go ahead, we'll get rid of the styrofoam. All right. Now the first thing I want to pull out actually is the base. And I'm going to go ahead and move the rest of this stuff off to the side. Unpackage the base. Uh, I'm going to leave a little protective condom on for now. Uh, I'm not really sure which way it goes. I imagine it goes this way. Uh, I'm not seeing mounting screws or anything like that yet. Just taking a look. It might be somewhere else. It's usually stored at the back of the TV. There we go, down here. All right, so in this bag, we'll just open it up. Actually take a look at everything. You're gonna have your documentation. So here's the first one, Theory 3D, uh, blah, blah, blah. Um, I wouldn't say it's really, well, it is in color. Okay, but standard documentation. You may or may not wish to read that. Uh, we'll go ahead, we'll open this up. It's your registration. Uh, standard registration card, we'll go ahead. Probably fill that out. Probably offer your warranty. Uh, the next in there is another thing on, it looks like internet apps. And maybe, uh, looks like a little quick setup. And accessories that can go with it. Okay, we will open that bag after because there is something else in here. Uh, looks like it comes with a nice little chamois to clean your bezel and screen. So that's pretty cool. It feels like it's actually really good quality in there. Uh, we'll check that out. Okay, now there's another bag inside there and inside that bag uh, we have our screws for the base. Uh, it actually does come with batteries for the remote. Uh, another big screw here might either go into the base or into something. We'll have to take a look. And it actually does come with a retaining cable. Uh, if I understand this right, it actually hooks up you know, to the wall so, or hooks up to something so your TV doesn't tip over. Uh, most people put it on the wall. Uh, since we will be wall eventually wall mounting ours, I'm not too worried about it. So we'll go ahead, we'll put that off to the side. And, uh, well, let's get the big TV out next. All right, so we do have the TV out now. And uh, let's go ahead and actually take this uh, protective covering off. Let me have to get this side. There we go. Now I have it set on the box. Uh, because until I actually get it onto the base, uh, I wanted something to lean against, and I wanted it to lean against the desk. But let's go ahead and we'll get this off first. And I'll just lay this down in front of it. So I won't be putting it back on until I get it put together. Uh, but as you can see, here's the actual screen itself. It's not a glossy finish, which is fine. I wanted a matte finish down here. Uh, one of the things I really don't like about the TV just looking at it right off the bat is the size of this bezel. It's not really going to be a problem, but uh, actually, where's my measuring tape? I've probably just gotten used to looking at our Sony, which has like an insanely small bezel. Well, let's actually go ahead and measure this. So we're looking at uh, about one and three quarter inch bezel. So it's really not that bad, it just looks really big. Now at the bottom it's a bit bigger because you have the speakers down there. So you're looking at just over three inches uh, on the bottom. And as far as thickness goes, uh, you're looking at about uh, almost three and a half inches in thickness, but it is not an LED, so you gotta kind of anticipate a little bit of thickness to it. 
All right, so here we are. We actually got the TV set up. I've taken off most of the protective wrapping, as you can see. I have left some of it still on, and I've got it plugged in and on its stand. So let's go ahead and turn it on for the first time. So I'm going to go ahead, take the remote, and uh, turn it on, which, by the way, is very fingerprint uh, receptive. Your fingerprints are going to be all over this thing. So we'll turn it on. I'm pointing it at it. Now, one thing I notice is that when I'm trying to hit the on button, my fingers are actually hitting the buttons underneath. So, you do actually have to point it at the TV to get it to turn on. And we'll notice here it has your, you know, your standard setup type things. It tells you to make sure that you have the batteries in to the remote, which uh, I do, obviously. Now, we can go ahead and set up the store demo our home setup. I'm going to go with the home setup. And right away you have the ability to actually start setting up different wi widgets. Uh, your next screen is actually going to show you how to hook up to the internet either through a wired router or a wireless one. And setup is pretty easy. Select the network you want and go ahead and insert your code. Now I'm actually going to flip the keyboard over and use the uh, other side for this. Alright, so the next thing you're going to do is actually go ahead and provide information for Vizio to be able to register your apps with uh, Vizio Internet. So uh, let's go ahead, we'll fill this in. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is actually uh, choose the input. And after that, we're going to be able to just exit to live TV. Now, because I did not actually go ahead and set up uh, some sort of TV input yet, I am actually going to have to go in under, uh, let me see, it will be the inputs. And it's going to take me a little bit to get used to this TV. And I actually do have it set up to uh, be connected to my computer right now. So let's go ahead. And just looking here, I don't see inputs anywhere. Uh, maybe under settings, input source, and I'm not really sure which HDMI it is. This one actually has four of them, and there it is. I did connect it to the one on the side. So let's go ahead. We'll switch over to that, and uh, I'm actually going to turn game mode on for now because it is hooked up to my computer, and I do want it in game mode. Now it's hooked up to my Mac, so I'm going to go ahead, we'll exit out of this option, and I'll jump onto my Mac. Now right away it actually looks quite, quite good. Uh, usually there's tweaking and whatnot that I have to do, uh, but it looks really good. I'm just taking a look at the mouse, see how it doesn't disappear off the side. Uh, sometimes you have to adjust the actual aspect ratio of it. Uh, I'm not seeing that. Let's go ahead. I'm actually going to go and, uh, well, let's open up uh, some app or something. Let's go ahead and actually play one of the videos I have made that um, I have not uploaded to YouTube yet. All right, so I've gone ahead and loaded up a video of a recording I made. It's one of uh, the videos for Star Wars The Old Republic. Uh, it's a tutorial on how to, uh, well, probably, I actually didn't really look. It's one of the tutorials. I believe it's uh, to get one of the Datacrons. Uh, but I've gone ahead and recorded it in 1080p. Now it's already been encoded and uh, basically had the file reduced, uh, but it is still in 1080p. Uh, so let's go ahead and we'll take a look at it. Now I'm not sure how well this is actually going to be coming across onto the video camera and then of course oh, re-encoded. Uh, let me go ahead and turn the volume down. Uh, but yeah, it actually looks really, really good. I have not touched any of the settings. The only thing I've done is turn game mode on, which really shouldn't affect video playback. Uh, yeah, it looks great. It looks just like it does when I'm actually playing. Just much bigger. <laughs> Instead of being on my 27-inch iMac screen, it's uh, now on a 47-inch Vizio screen. I'm really happy with the display, but we'll cover that a little bit more in the review. Uh, but anyway, I just wanted to get something up there and have a quick uh, show of what it looks like. 
Uh, during the review, we'll go over a few more options. So I'll see you in about a week. Bye-bye.